Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Round 10, featuring 31 exclusive sketches. And today's exclusive sketch was created by Sherry Stewart. Cute uh, sketch, almost called a layout, uh, but it is a sketch, and I'm going to have flowers, but mine are going to be smaller. I'm not going to have quite as big a ones. And I'm going to scrap these three photos of my great niece, Gracie. And I'm going to use those two dyes that's on there. One is a Pink Fresh, and the other is one I got off Amazon. And then some Echo Park Alphas. And then I've got several stencils I plan on using. You're barely going to see any of them by the time I get done, though. And, yeah, see how many there are? <laughs> Yeah, and you're barely going to see any of them. And I'm going to use that uh, brick paper there. And it's by Craft Consortium. And this is watercolor paper, so I sprayed it first with water. And see how it's already curving up. But, you know, in the end, it being watercolor paper, once it actually completely dries, and I did start my layout before it completely dried, it does go a lot flatter and does not bow near as much. Maybe just a tiny bit, but usually once I put it in the sleeve, it goes down and it looks flat within a week or two. I am using those paints, and I'm not sure if they have a name. I think I ordered them maybe off of Walmart.com, maybe. Uh, I've had them a while. And... Artists do not clean their paint pans. Yeah, why waste it? It's still good later. All you have to do is add water. I did uh, a thin light blue up at the top, and then I did a thin green. And I'm adding what uh, I am considering a tree. <laughs> well, three of them. I'm going to add three. Since I wasn't going to use the big flowers, I did consider using some Vicky Booten with some big flowers, but then I changed my mind. Several things went through my mind before I finally actually got to this layout and worked on it. I kind of create by inspiration. If I look at a layout, think of some photos and an idea, then I'll do it. I don't do them, you know, numerical order for the 30 days or this month, 31. I added some blue and black together so the blue wouldn't be quite as bright and i'm just and, and if you all notice every time i pick that little bottle up i'm adding more water so um i just want it to be a light very light <laughs> shades of color here and i also have some um that ink pad there and i have used it it is breeze and it's a light light blue there wasn't no light blue in the paint so i wanted something that was a little bit lighter so i used that green and then all that yummy goodness <laughs> it was on that packaging and i thought i don't want to waste it and it's not like the paint pan you know that i can just leave it for next time so i went ahead and put it on my layout now i'm going to start layering my stencils like this one right here you're going to see a little bit of it but most of it you're not going to see. I did not make sure the whole thing was on there when I did it. I just wanted enough to have a hint. to Kind of catch the eye here and there. And most of this, that's all I'm doing. Just enough. And I'm trying really hard not to push down with my brush. Because I don't want any of them very dark. I, that one that I just used was called Explore, and it's by uh, Crafters Workshop. This one's Tim Holtz, and it's Burlap. And this one here, what is it called? It's like on the tip of my tongue. Tile, Tile Mania, I believe it is, and it's Craft Treat is what it is by. And... Oh, I forgot to show my stamps earlier, and the stamp that I'm using is Studio Light, and I think it's, well, it's by Art by Marlene, and it's uh, one for doing mixed media. And this one's Heidi Swap, and I'm only going to use one word, and it's happiness. And I'm putting it in three places because I wasn't sure which place it'd show up, and not 
any of them's a whole word except that one. And I just wanted, hopefully, <laughs> enough for the word happy to show. And it does, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I am happy with that. Uh, oh, and this one is, well, they kind of remind me of fireflies or lightning bugs, whichever one you call them. But I'm spraying water on top of them because I don't want it to look crisp. I wanted the stamping to look like watercolors, too. So I took the crispness away with a little bit of water. I'm going to cut this into two pieces. Well, the middle part's going to be out. But I want enough that I can put my photos on the side. But still have the middle empty so you can see the watercolors. Even though it's not great. <laughs> it's, it's more like watercolor mixed media instead of a real watercolor. And then one good thing about mixed media it don't have to be perfect and of course being watercolor mixed media even less so i am just putting my adhesive in the middle and along the edges i thought i'd leave the some of the bricks loose so i could tuck underneath them and uh yeah see not a whole lot showing i just wanted a little bit showing but i didn't want a completely white background I had it in my head how I was going to put these photos and those two photos. I got them backwards and flipped them around. And so you've seen them like magic end up in the right place. But I was trying to figure out ways where I could do it and still use my greenery with it. My title, like I said, those letters are Echo Park. So it's Fall Joy because she is really tickled in these photos. My brother chased her all over the place while my sister-in-law took photos. And uh, she was everywhere. But I really like these on this, well, it looks like a tree stump. Well, part of a tree stump. A part of a log or whatever. Anyway, it don't have any bark left on it. But she's using it as a chair. And I'm using the dye that I got from Amazon. And it was just cattails. I wanted tall grass and I wanted cattails too. And I had to make up my mind which one I wanted. Because, you know, usually I cut my tall grass on my own. <laughs> but I thought, well, if I get a die, I won't have to. And I thought, well, if I get the tall cattails, if I want just tall grass, I can cut the cattails off. Or just leave them green and maybe they'll look a little bit like just tall grass. But I took a marker and marked the cattails on them so today they look like cattails and it looks like for another layout or two they're still gonna look like cattails because I'm gonna have quite a few left over I would put the greenery down on that one on the right first and it just looked kind of funny there so I thought maybe I'll make like a lily pad kind of sort of thing only in brown and so that's what I'm doing and I like the one up there on the left I like that all right well, I did this one. I didn't like it when I did it. And I kept looking at it and still didn't like it. I was editing the video and almost ready for the voiceover. And so I'd take it back <laughs> and work on it a little bit. So the photos will be different. Yeah, I know. I'm bad at that. If I look at my layout and I'm not happy with something, or of course, y'all know I like more, think I need to add more, I will go back and do it. I... I am used to, before I started doing videos, like if I finish my layout, it would lay there on my table till the next layout came along. And I might go back to it two or three times. I wasn't necessarily finished when I got up and walked away the first time. And it's still that way. I still look at the layout and think about other things until I actually feel done. I'm a slow scrapper. I can't help it. And I'll get different ideas. But uh, I really like this cattail dye. It's made me very happy, just so you all know. I think it is so pretty on a layout. Anyway, I am making my faux lily pads, even though they're not green. I wanted them to match my bricks a little bit more and kind of blend in. You know, I didn't want 100% blend in, but 
it was the same color as the uh, photo mats. So, and it was handy and it was right there. So I decided, well, since I don't want it 100% to blend, it ought to work. But while I'm putting the rest of my greenery on here and my not so big flowers, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the master link to everybody else's videos. Uh, Christy had an awesome idea when she created that because one click and it'll just play for you. And I really like that, especially when I'm scrapping and just click on it and they will go and you won't miss any. Um, I, oh, <laughs> I had that one brick hanging out there. I thought about moving my photo over to the right a little bit more and have a little more greenery on that brick hanging out there because, you know, I thought that's an opportunity. And then I said, no, I want some on each side, kind of framing the photo a little bit. So I'm even putting some up on top. I didn't do it with all of them, but I thought at least one I'd have it kind of framing it. And this is that Crackle Stamp by Stampendous. It comes with four grunge, I think it's called grunge, stamps. And I'm putting it on the bricks. And uh, I use the black soot. And the black soot's what I use to ink the bricks, too. I did consider tea dye since the bricks are brown or even chocolate by Close to My Heart. But the, the grouting on the uh, bricks is a, almost a black. So I decided to use the black instead. I used my EK Success Punch for the flowers. And on the centers of it, I had that package of teeny tiny <laughs> glue dots that had been gifted me in some happy mail and I thought I would put nubile drops on each one to put in the center of my flowers. So that's what I did. I went ahead and put it on there and they, they probably set a couple hours before I ever started the layout. And then all I had to do is make sure I picked them up, glue dot and all, <laughs> to go on my flowers. So I had to end up using that uh, Tim Holtz piercing tool so I could pick them up because use my fingernails, I was missing <laughs> that little glue dot and it was staying behind. I was having to go back and get it. So the little uh, piercing tool worked so much better. I am going to sprinkle some... Um, Bookworm by Mr. Huey on my layout. And then I think I'm done. I don't think I have anything else to do with it. Oh, I did add one more flower and you will see it magically appear. <laughs> yeah, while I was sprinkling the um, bookworm on there, I thought, oh, there's some greenery with no flower. It needs a flower. So I stopped and put a flower there. But uh, the like I said, in the end, on the photos there will be a difference and i done the greenery over on the picture on the right see i moved it up i had to replace some bricks but i had that extra over there so i just cut a strip and glued it down on top and then moved my greenery up so it wouldn't be like you know an inch below the picture and all those bricks bricks yeah, I think I think this one might be stones instead of bricks, you know, cut stone. It looks like it instead of actual bricks or else, you know, they're just really old, like from a castle. Because looking at it, I think of a castle. I don't know about y'all, but I think of a castle when I look at them like this. And, and instead of them being red or pink or, you know, cream colored or something, I think of a castle when they're like this. But that's it. That's my layout. And if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching today. I appreciate that too. And try this sketch out. It was a lot of fun. Have a happy scrappy week. Bye.